Hello everyone! In this backpack is one of the smallest fire alarm panels ever manufactured, so let's take it out. This is a Notifier SGL2000. These are pretty rare. They are a rebrand of the Firelight MP24 mini panels. As the name implies, these are designed for very small facilities. On the left is a Notifier SFP2404, pretty much the modern successor to the SGL2000. The SFP2404 measures about 15 inches high by 14 and a half inches wide and 3 inches deep, while the SGL2000 measures 9.5 inches wide, 10.5 inches tall, and 5 inches deep. While the SFP2404 may have newer features like alarm verification and strobe synchronization, the SGL2000 keeps things simple and light. So let's take a look. Got some devices in here. This is a System Sensor 2100 smoke detector. Here is a BNG1 pulse station. And this here is a System Sensor PA400 mini alert sounder with a PS24LO strobe on it. The SGL2000 has three operator buttons. The disable switch disables the signals and the instrument zones. The trouble silence just silences the internal buzzer. And the reset button resets the system. Very simple and straightforward. The SGL2000 has two initiating zones and one signal circuit. There was a Canadian variant, the CSGL2000, that only had one zone. These two terminals on the left are the AC inputs. Terminals 3 and 4 are the signal circuit. And terminals 5, 6, and 7 are the two initiating zones. They both share a common positive terminal and have separate negative terminals. This is a 1994 model. These first appeared in brochures as early as 1986, and they were around until at least the early 2000s. Sometime in the mid to late 90s, these panels had a refresh with a new cabinet design, and internal blocks were slightly modified so that they were 8 instead of 7. There was an added third terminal block in between the AC and the NAC circuits, probably just as a buffer between the AC and DC power circuits. This connector here is for the backup batteries. Your transformers up here. There's a card sitting back here. The SGL2000 could accept one of four different optional modules. This one is a relay module. There are two types of relay modules. One relay module has two alarm relays, and this one has one alarm and one trouble relay. There are also two transmitter modules with reverse polarity. One for alarms, and one for alarms and troubles, with alarms having a higher priority. Alright, so let's take these devices, wire them up, and apply power to the system. Okay, you have everything wired up now. Now unfortunately this panel does have a trouble. It has a brown out. Probably an issue on a circuit board. But the system still works. This panel being very simple has no signal coding, so just run continuous. So here we go. Now it's just a pull station, so we just reset right away. Now let's test the smoke detector. Okay, so we hit the disable switch, so it silences the signals. Now we can air out the smoke detector, and then we can reset the system. Okay, it should be all clear now. There we go. So that was the Notifier SGL2000. It's unfortunate that this panel has a trouble on it, but especially the Notifier variants of these panels are very rare. But I did film a video with the Firelight MP12 that was in perfect normal condition. So let's take a look at that real quick.
that's that. While these panels may not be anything remarkable, for any very small facilities and maybe even some residential locations, the SGL 2000 and its Firelight counterpart will make a good fit for being very small and very simple to operate. Like many other older Notifier and Firelight panels, these are quite rare to find. If you do find these, these make for very nice panels for demo systems. It could probably even be used for small home systems. In any case, if you have any questions or comments on the Notifier SGL 2000, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.